my class this is the homework for September 26th, which is today. Uh, this is going to be as your, your review for your test. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one is determine whether each ordered triple is a solution to the system of equations shown. Explain your reasoning. So if we want to determine whether a point is a solution to our system, all we have to do is substitute our values in for x, y, and z. So let's go ahead and do that. One. Uh, first one, I'm going to go ahead and substitute. I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper. That's 1 minus 6 plus 2 times 3. And that's supposed to equal 1. That's 1 minus 6 plus 6 equals 1. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So those two cancel out, and I'm left with 1 equals 1. So that checks off. B. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm still doing A, so that's 3 times 1 plus 6 equals negative 9. That's 3 plus 6 equals negative 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. It does not equal negative 9. So that it does not satisfy. So A is no. Does not satisfy. Equation two. B. Again, we're still substituting. That's zero minus negative two plus two times negative nine. It's supposed to equal one. Zero. It's a negative and negative. That's a positive two plus negative eighteen. It's supposed to equal one. Oh, there's substitute. Zero, negative two, negative nine. This is negative ten equals one. Again, that does not work. So it's no. And we substitute it into our first equation. That's no. Does not satisfy. Equation 2. Double check that. 0 minus negative 2, that's 2. Plus negative 18 is negative 10, negative 1. Our C. The negative 4 minus 1 plus 2 times 3 plus equal 1. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. 6 equals 1. And negative 5 plus 6 is 1, so that checks off. Move on to the next equation. That's 3 times z is negative 4. Plus 3. Supposed to equal negative 9. Negative 12 plus 3. Negative 12 plus 3 is 9. Negative 9. So that checks off. And our last one. That's negative 2 times negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, plus 3, plus 15, and that's supposed to equal 26. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 15 is 26. So that checks off as well. So yes, that satisfies all equations. Right, number two, it says solve the system using substitution. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for x here. This is a, and this is b, and this is c. On a, I get x is equal to 7 plus 2y minus 2z. I added 2y, and I subtracted 2z from both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute that into b and c. That's 7 plus 2y minus 2z plus 3y is 0. So I'm going to combine like terms here. That's 7 plus 5y 
and it's busy equals zero. And then C is negative. Negative eight. Distribute this out. Negative seven minus plus one minus two y plus four z plus y minus four z equals negative eight. Combine like terms. Negative two y. Plus y is negative y. 4z minus 4z, those cancel out. So I'm left with negative 7 minus y is equal to negative 8. This last equation I'm going to solve for y. That's negative y equals negative 8. I'm going to add 7. So this becomes negative 1 and then divide by negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and back substitute to get my z, and then again to get my x. So from here, I'm going to go into this equation. So 7 plus 5 times 1 minus 2z equals 0. 7 plus 5 minus 2z equals 0. Zero. Add two z to both sides. And then finally divide by two. Six equals z. Once I have these two, I'm gonna go to back to my original one again for x. That's x equals seven plus two times one minus two times six. X is equal to 7 plus 2 minus 12. X is equal to 7 plus 2 is 9. Minus 12 is negative 3. So my solution is negative 3, 1, 6. Right, number 3. I'm going to solve for x on the equation B here. That's a, B, C, C. Subtract 5y and uh, subtract z. Negative x is equal to negative 1 minus 5y minus z. And then substitute that into a and c. So that's 2, negative 1, minus 5y minus z, plus 4y minus z equals 4, and c becomes negative 6, negative 1 minus 5y minus z, minus y plus 2z equals 3. Go ahead and open up your parentheses, so a becomes negative 2 minus 10y minus 2z plus 4y minus z equals 4 and c becomes 6 plus 30y negative 6 minus negative z minus y plus 2z equals 4. Combine your like terms. 10y and negative 10y plus 4y is Negative 2z and c, negative 3z. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So 6. And c, I'm going to do the same thing. 30y minus y is uh, 29y. Negative 6z plus 2z is negative 4z. And then subtract 6 from both sides.
Now we have those two. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to solve for z on my equation a. The reason is uh, I see this 3, and I'm going to have to divide by 3 at the end. And then 6 and 6 divide 3 evenly. So I won't get any fractions. So from a, I'm going to add 6y. So it's negative 3z equals 6 plus 6y. And then divide by negative 3. Z equals negative 2 minus 2y. And then substitute that into equation C. Multiply out. And then combine like terms. 29 and 8. Seven and then subtract eight on both sides. Negative three is negative eleven. Times z. That's a thirty-seven y, and then divide by thirty-seven. Negative y is equal to negative eleven over thirty-seven. Right. There was a mistake up here, guys. So when I distributed this, I got negative six times negative 1 is positive 6. Negative 6 times negative 5y is positive 31. Negative 6 times negative z should be positive 6. So when I end up combining these two, I should get positive 8z. And this should be a positive 8. So when I distribute this, I should get negative 15. negative 16 and then when I combine my like terms that and that 29 minus 16 13 so this should be 13 y like that 13y, and I'm going to subtract 16 on both sides, subtract 16 on both sides, so that should give me negative 19, and, uh, this should be a negative 16, so I'm add, adding 16 to both sides, and I get positive 13. Now I divide 13 on both sides, and I get y is equal to 1. Go ahead and substitute. I'm going to go ahead and substitute into this one right here to get my z. So that's z is equal to negative 2 minus 2 times 1. And that's z is equal to negative 2 minus 2. z is equal to negative 4. I have these two, so I'm going to go ahead and substitute back in here. That's x is equal to negative 1 minus 5 times 1 minus negative 4. So that's x is equal to negative 1 minus 5 plus 4. x is equal to negative 1 minus 5 negative 6. 4 is negative 2. So my final solution is negative 2, 1, and negative 4. Number four by elimination. This is my A, B, and C. So on this one here, I'm going to go ahead and try and eliminate my Z's. So in order to do that, I have to multiply the bottom one by negative two, and that should give me B. I didn't do anything to B. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to negative 8. Add these two. That's negative 5x 
plus 3y zero equals 16 minus 8 is 8 and now I'm looking at my first one a and this one here which I'm gonna call D a was 1 plus 3z is equal to negative 3 and D was negative 5x 3y is equal to 8 here since I have two different variables yz and xy my uh, original choice to eliminate my variable was the incorrect one. So now I have to actually eliminate my x, since in my a, I have y and z. I don't have a third variable x. If I had a third one, then it, it wouldn't matter which one it is. But since I don't have a third one, I have to get rid of my x. So to get rid of my x here, I have to multiply the top one by 2. So I get b plus c, 2x. My top one becomes negative 2x minus 2y plus 2y minus z equals 32. Add those two. These cancel out. y uh, minus 10z equals 36. And now I'm looking at this one. Because this one was not correct. Now I'm looking at D here and A. And one, and six. I'm going to go ahead and eliminate my Y. So the bottom one I'm going to multiply by negative one. And I get negative Y plus 10 Z negative 36 and then my top one y plus 3z equals negative 3 add those two my y's cancel 13z is equal to negative 39 divided by 13 z is equal to negative 39 divided by 13 is 3 negative Go ahead and back substitute into this one here to get my y. So y minus 10 times negative 3, 6. y plus 30 equals 36. y, subtract 30, y equals 6. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and substitute into my equation. Which one would be easier? This one here, equation B to get my x. So it's negative x plus y, which is 6, minus 4 times negative 3, which is 16. So that's negative x plus 6 plus 12 equals 16. Negative x subtract 6 and subtract 12 so I am actually subtracting 18 negative 2 divide by negative 1 x is equal to 2 so here my solution is 2 comma 6 comma negative 3